What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a mustard review. Now, I've seen this at Walmart plenty of times. It was finally a couple weeks ago, I said I'm buying it. I'll review it, what the hell, why not? Um, I don't know if, how many of you out there have had this before. Let me know in the comments if you have. I've never had it before. It is from World Fine, distributed by World Finer Foods in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Product of Great Britain. It is Coleman's of Norwich Original English Mustard. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure everybody's probably seen this in the store. It's like $2.98 a bottle for 5.3 ounces. So, I mean, it's not the cheapest stuff, but I figured it's something to try different. <clears throat> so, you know, established 1814. They got to be doing something right 207 years, right? And um, you can find them at ColemanUSA.com. And we will get right to the ingredients, which obviously isn't much. It is water, mustard flour, sugar, salt, wheat flour, spice, and citric acid. Now, I'm probably, I don't want to say be disappointed in this, but I don't know what I'm really expecting. Um, I don't know if I, well, I can screw this cold. Nice. Ooh, almost has like a, must be whatever spice they're using. Almost has like a horseradish smell to it. That's what it looks like though. I know the camera sucks. Mmm. Uh, that smells really good. That smells really good. If you like horseradish, you will probably like this mustard. So let's get out our <clears throat> untainted tasting spoon. Get rid of the gnats that are out of here. And uh, it's a little squeeze bottle. Look at that. There you go. All right. Yeah, it has like a horseradish smell to it. It's got to be in the seasoning. Water, mustard, flour, sugar, salt, wheat flour, spice, and citric acid. Uh, maybe the wheat flour? Not sure. But anyway, this is from Coleman's of Norwich, their original English mustard. Here we go. Whoa. Whew. That's going to be the wheat flour. That's a strong flavor. I don't think anything else would be giving it that kind of flavor. Maybe the mustard flour, depending on what kind of mustard seed you use, I guess. I don't know if there's a difference. I'm not that in-depth on my mustard knowledge, but that I think that might be the wheat flour. Ooh. Which would be the smell and the taste. Alright, we're going to do one more taste, one more big spoonful here. Ooh. It tastes like wasabi. That's what I'm thinking of. Not horseradish. Wasabi. It has a wasabi kick to it. So it's got to be that wheat flour, I'm assuming. I'm thinking it, it tastes like wasabi, which isn't a bad thing. This would be good on probably sushi. A little drop on sushi. Just on sushi. Um... Wow, that's a, it's a it's a rather um, I don't want to say overpowering flavor. It's a strong flavor, is what I want to say. Ah, uh, it's not bad. Um, obviously, there's no heat. Flavor. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go four out of ten. Not my cup of tea. No pun intended, since I'm from England. But um, yeah, I mean. I won't buy it again personally. I'll use this because I don't want to waste it. Um, I don't know anybody who would want to use it other than me. But, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, it tastes it has like a wasabi taste. Not as much of a nasal clearing wasabi as, as wasabi, but I get your attention because you're thinking mustard's like a tangy flavor and this just hits you like wasabi. 
you know, mustard has like that vinegary, you know, I don't know what, I just call it mustard flavor. But yeah, um, four out of ten. I'm not going to buy this again, uh, especially three dollars for this little bottle. Um, if you're from England and you're living over here and you can find it at Walmart, I guess, you know, that makes you happy, right? But yeah, it's just a little weird flavor for me. Nothing against you, Coleman's, just not my thing. Maybe in England this is what the best mustard tastes like. I don't know. Over here, I mostly buy, uh, well, buy store brand, but I'm pretty sure it's probably made by French's or High's. More likely probably French's because the bottles look the same. But uh, with that said, yeah, this is a 4 out of 10 on flavor. Like I say, obviously no heat. <clears throat> but yeah, it has like a wasabi flavor. So if you like wasabi, which I do, you might like this, but if I want wasabi flavor, I'll just buy wasabi. Anyway, there's my review on Coleman's of Norwich, original English mustard. You want to try it? That's up to you. I will buy it again. So, hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.